And it's like, you feel safe, you feel good, you- Ay, fuck! Oh, yeah. Pale blood. There is gore. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Have we? Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. Hmm. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. Please don't come so close, sir. Okay. Oh gosh. It hmm. 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 Entry incomplete. That that is, you know, that's fair. Um Let's see. What name do we fucking go with in this? And why is it still just tails? Why do we do all of this, but also we're named fucking Tails? Uh, uh, let's go this. Yes. There we go. What the f- <laughs> Ordinary, happy upbringing. All attributes average. Lone survival of lost ha Hamlet. High life essence and vigor. Troubled childhood. Suffer misfortune and use. Highly resilient as a result. Wait, what is the difference? Oh, okay. Violent past. Terribly violent f past. Rash, but stronger for it. Born specialist. Fit for sleuthing or academia. What the fuck is that? Okay. <clears throat> military, military veteran, experienced in war, a soldier with strength and skill. A uh, scion to a respectable line, with faith in your pedigree. Uh, cruel fate. You've uh, met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Faced with terrible hardships, but now confident in your purpose. Waste of skin, you are nothing. Talentless, you should not have been born. Jesus Christ, man. Um. Professor Imp, I just need some, some uh, cool glasses on me. Mm hmm. All right, everyone. Uh, what, what is no one say anything? What is no one, does no one say anything about what? What do I need to be worried about here? Anyway, I think, uh, I think Lone Survivor, Orc, fine. I'm probably not doing much Blood Tinge or Arcane this run through at all, so Vitality, Endurance, good ones to have. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> How do you look like a discount Dracula? You do not have the flow. Don't worry about it. I have zero riz. Shake my head, shake my head. But it's okay. That just means it's even closer to real life, you know? I'm really bringing in that immersion right now. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. Hmm. I don't like the sound of that, sir. Well, at least one of us was having a good time here, I fucking guess. Also, wow, you really didn't think about it. I don't have much room for thoughts in my brain on a good day. Oh. Hi. 
I'm sorry, I made it clear I will not be petting any dogs in this one. I'm, I'm sorry. That's a no from me. That's a no from me. That is a no from me, dog. <clears throat> Th thank you. I'm a little still concerned about the fire that's close to me while well, I'm not able to move, apparently. But, you know, thank you. The dog's gonna pet you. No fucking thank you! Oh. Oh, okay. Friends! Friends! Happy luck, we're friends! These are definitely uh, friendly things. You found yourself a hunter. Friends. Oh my gosh, it's dark. I need my lantern. Mm -hmm. Remember, woman. Therefore, treat blobby thing with care. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Hey, Lyra. Can we pet them? No. Cute girl. All right. Here we go. Very appropriate. <laughs> Big punch. Got a grab. Look at that punch. Look at that punch. We got a little dodge roll here. So, there is what one might call a big ass fucking dog over here. Just a large doggo. Oh, okay, so I might not have gotten the surprise that I was hoping for. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, the plan didn't go as I would have hoped, you know? <laughs> sneak. Ah, uh, it didn't sneak quite as well as one might have hoped. Good start. Is that, did everybody watch? Did everybody watch closely? Because that's it. That's this entire playthrough, I promise. <laughs> also happy, hey, you wanted the dog to pet us. How did the hug work? Was that good? Did that work for you? Okay, so now I gotta take a deep breath, adjust to this new, very definitely real and not like creepy liminal space, basically. Say hi, an abandoned doll. All right, so I believe it's they're offering some different weapons. I'm gonna go with the best weapon to start with. A trick weapon, choose ones. They're wielding the right hand and employed in beast hunting. Now, the cane is fun if you really want to be fancy. The cleaver is good. It's just solid good. But I love the axe for a very important reason. And you guys will all see why shortly. And then... The messengers offer you a firearm. Choose one. Firearms are wielded with the left hand and employed in beast hunting. Um... I believe... This is shorter range but hits harder... And this is farther range, but hits less, but it also kind of actually goes out a bit. It actually, like, um, can spew out a bit. I tend to like the blunderbuss more. I might have those backwards also. Who knows? A notebook received from the messengers. Leave messages with loyal servants and share them with hunters of other worlds. All right. And then, um, Give me Hunter's Axe. 
not. Oh, give me blunderbuss, okay. And give me the axe. All right, so the axe is the absolute best weapon for a very important reason. So, uh, you know, it's got all the basics. It's very quick. It's got a really good heavy attack that slams down and immediately brings enemies down. The real thing for it. Also, these are called trick weapons because they each have two um, stages. So you saw the first one. This is the second one with bigger reach. And it's got like a, a stabbing forward motion too. Again, like another strong attack. But here's the fun one. Here's the fun one. When you try, so you can do the big heavy attack as like one, and also you can charge it up for like what's called like a visceral attack. It'll do extra damage, but it takes you a second to charge up. And as most things move pretty quick on here, it can be dangerous. Here's the thing that makes the axe the best goddamn fucking starting weapon. <laughs> Your long charge up is you swinging around like a motherfucker. It's ridiculous. You do this huge swing. It hits everything around you. It is so great if you fuck up and get yourself in a crowd. But also, it's just so fucking funny to launch into things and ju just doing this. Just aggro them, have them run to you, and then just twirl a whirl around. Anyway, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. We're already blundering, huh? Did you not see my first fight with the, um, with the doggo? Absolutely, we're already blundering. Also closed. What, what do you mean closed? Are you typically closed the first time? I thought I had to come up here and deal with your awful, awful first dialogue. Anyway, I thought I had to deal with his very terrible. Anyway, uh, Gearman is the, the, the dude we will meet in here is definitely a tragic figure with the with some of the worst opening fucking dialogue I've ever, I ever had to deal with. Does it open when you get the first insight? They're not open on Sundays. Well, gosh darn it. Of course, I chose the one day a week that would be awful for her. Uh, starting it. Shake my head. Alright. Round, round two. Hello, dudes. Alright. Anyway. Round two. Come here. <laughs> Anyway, this is why it's the best one. That's why it's the best one. That's why it's the- I had blood echoes? What the fuck? What the fuck did I have blood echoes for? I had barely done- Anyway, so anyway, that's why it's the best one, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed the reason why it's the best one. Give me the blood vials. All right. Fun thing from all the FromSoft games. I do believe this was actually like a bug in one of their first games where it was meant to be like a kind of thing where it ragdolls for like a second and then it like sits and then it like gets locked into place on the floor. But a bug in the game meant that it, it never stopped ragdolling. So the, the body's just... The bodies will just kind of like ragdoll forever. You can, you can, you, you they're, they're nothing, wait. They are Halloween costumes now. It's amazing. Give me blood vials. I want, what I really want is my fucking lantern. I need to get my hand lantern. Uh, there's, there's a lantern that you can basically attach at your hip that makes it much easier to see. Actually speaking of real quick. No, no, I want to see shit. I know that you're supposed to make it darker, but this game is actually gorgeous, and to me, it's a fucking shame to hide it all behind, like, stuff being too fucking dark. All right. We have two gates here. Looks like that one we can't open.
fuck? Oh, you can hear that all the way from here. There's a guy stepping around over there. He's definitely just a great little friend. Oh, I can't wait. Hee hee. No, no, no! But Ragdoll. <laughs> By the way, would you say I have gotten that drip now? Something, something, I'm dripping with blood? Does that count? Alright. Got some blood vials. I don't think there's anything else in this little section. Not even dead dudes to fuck with me. Alright. Okay, so I believe as soon as like you come up, also very dead horse, nice uwu, <coughs> very uwu, very, very. I I would say less uwu and much more unu, you know. Uh, interesting thing to Nyan Cat. Interesting thing to Nyan Cat. Oh, hey, there you are. Thank you for giving me a nice, loud warning of your presence. Okay, come on. Let's see if I can do this still. Okay. I did not execute it correctly, but that is the main reason for the guns, is to parry. You get them at a critical moment right before they strike, and um, it will put them in a vulnerable position, leading, leaving you to be able to do a very specialized attack. There's another one that's faking being dead somewhere near here. Aha! There's another one, I think. Yeah, come on. Nope, that was wrong. Okay. And there we go. <clears throat> that's the special I was talking about. Anyway, as you guys saw, I did actually get hit there. Um, Bloodborne has my favorite mechanic, honestly, in it, in that um, they really want this to be something where you're not careful about it. There are actually, it's like famously, there's only one shield in this game until the very late game, and it even notes on it that it's terrible and sucks and that people basically shouldn't be using it. Um, and there's the shot and um they want you to be i believe that was from the church but um they want you to be playing aggro and one of the mm, uh things i love 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 in this is there is a mechanic where if you get you see i'm fully healed even though getting hit when you first get hit there's actually a moment where if you are able to successfully counterattack, you can gain hp back that way encouraging you to be incredibly uh, incredibly uh on the attack on the offensive the whole time oh you must be a hunter and not one from around here either mm. i'm gilbert a fellow outsider you must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. Oh yeah. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to, but I'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. Please. <laughs> this town is cursed. Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. Pale blood, you say? Hmm. Never heard of it. But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the healing church. The church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the healing church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep within Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral. The birthplace mm -hmm. of the healing church special blood. Mm. Or so they say. <laughs> well, churches are never anything but honest, so surely. Don't share much with outsiders. 
Normally they wouldn't let you near the place, but the hunt is on tonight. This might be your chance. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum, you'll find the Cathedral Ward. Okay. Deep within lies the old main cathedral, said to be the source of blood. All right, I think that's I it for. I haven't heard of pale blood, but that's your best bet if it's anything to do with unique types of blood. All right. <laughs> so you can hear our friend here is sick. Um. Also, I should note that these lamps are the bonfires or sites of grace or all of that in here. With this, we can transco. We can go back to the hunter's dream as ne needed, which is like our little hub. <coughs> so yes. So the reason. So for those who don't know, who haven't interacted directly with a FromSoft game before, FromSoft games are very much like. It's it's much more a game where it's focused on top down, sort of. To speak, like, our character is not a character. They're, uh, the only real characteristic we're given is that the reason they're here is that they're sick with something that is incurable, and they heard about the amazing healing that is done here in Yarnum, uh, done with what is called blood menstruations. We got some blood put in us, that's what he meant by, let's start with some blood of, like, Yarnums of our own put in us and now we have to take place or now we have to take part in the hunt if we want to get anywhere to hopefully heal uh, our sickness our sickness is never like discuss what it is directly it's just that it like wherever we were before could not cure us oh boy and now we're in the hunter's dream hello aha you must be the new hunter that's me Welcome to the Hunter's Dream. This will be your home for now. I am... German. Friend to you, Hunters. Hmm. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. You know, it's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. This was once a safe haven for hunters. A workshop where hunters used blood to enhance their weapons and flesh. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but you're welcome to use whatever you find. Here it is. Even the doll. Should it please you? Nasty old man. Nasty this old man. Oh. Okay, we're not doing we're not doing that again. Nasty old man. No fucking thank you. What is this? To escape this dreadful hunter's dream, halt the source of spreading scourge of beasts, lest the night carry on forever. So you will be stuck in <clears throat> stuck in the night of the hunt forever if we don't stop the source of the beast yeah i don't think we have any bloodstones yet we don't really need to repair the weapon this is placing extra items in storage which is really just a place where you put a lot of the blood vials because unfortunately you can run out of blood vials which will just make everything too hard in some places you just do you, if you're if you're unable to get good enough to just not get hit you will need more this little back area has some cute rare dialogue <clears throat> and this is certain a certain um messengers will come up for the shop always <laughs> This is one of the... Okay, I don't have any insight, so I can't buy from here. But down here is actually one that I can already buy from. These little messengers, they follow around hunters. I think literally we don't quite know why. And they interact with them. And this one is a shop <laughs> where they sell stuff like healing blood vials that you jam into your body to heal. Bullets, you know, pebbles... Molotov cocktails, you know, the typical things that cute little sidekick characters sell in video games. Oh, the hub, 
the hub sucks. It looks like it wants to kill you. Um, so funny enough, leading into that, do you see these red spots? Because we're playing online, these red spots uh, showcase other players, and it shows how they've died. <laughs> but it seems so funny. How do you die in a little area like this where there's, like, no one to harm you, right? Isn't that fun? Anyway. Abandoned doll. Uh -huh. So anyway, it's 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 cool. It's it's all very graveyard themed. You know, it's fine. It's fine. There's a big gate to a beautiful area with flowers and people on crosses. I it's fine. It's it's fine. Beautiful place. Beautiful place. The hunter's dream. I mean, just look at that moon. Gorgeous place. Gorgeous place, really. So anyway, yeah, we are going to be headed into the Cathedral Ward to hopefully find the guy said Pale Blood, which should be able to help heal us of whatever is up. I'm scared. I mean, it's from Soft. Like, you should be. <clears throat> Honestly, I should probably just keep this version of me. Though also, I might want to go with the other version of me when I get scared, which is uh, not being on screen at all. Anyway, you know I had to showcase. <laughs> you know I had to showcase that again for everyone who didn't see it. I have a new fun way of entering and exiting the screen. I just like to, uh... You know, sometimes you just gotta... Sometimes you're there and you're dealing with stuff and you just don't want to. So you just gotta, you just gotta, you know what I mean? You just gotta do that. Anyway, failure to parkour. Don't worry, there will be plenty of that. Gosh, I played so often on this. I forget that a lot of these ways are actually blocked off at first. Side so note, I love Bloodborne level design greatly. I love the way it utilizes um, opening up stuff to create the shortcuts back and learning your way through the city. And why is my brain already telling me there's to be ready for an ambush? There it is. Is there only one? There's only one of you. Uh-huh. And done. Yeah, done, son. Um one thing that's gonna take me a while to get used to from Elden Ring. In Elden Ring, everybody was celebrating because FromSoft The fuck was that? FromSoft finally made a dedicated jump button. To jump in this game, I believe it's circle? They gotta let go and tap it. Which sure does make for something. If I was more confident, I could actually take a shortcut down here that plops me in the middle of the city. But I'm not that confident yet, so no. <clears throat> um, also, there's no actual pause on this. If you go into the menu and things are moving, they will continue to fucking move. Uh, quick items. Let's get a pebble. Let's get a Molotov cocktail. Alright, and I do believe down here... Is... Three? Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's light footsteps here now. Ouch. Ouch. The fire hurts. All right, you see how, like, my, my HP is orange? That orange bit was telling me I still had some time to recover HP. Okay, and the reason I believe square is what I can use for these. And... And see, these, these dudes are pretty simple. Come on. Nah, I'm faster than you. Cool axe. Do you want to see mine? It's much cooler than yours, not you. 
Yeah, and then another one of you is gonna join. I remember that. And do you know what this calls for? Do you know what this calls for? <laughs> Look at him fly! Also, the fun thing about this game is that a lot of stuff can go into each other. That was one big attack I used. And it uh, went into a, a smaller lighter attack. Um, before I go too much further, I don't believe... I'm sorry, you will notice my head on a swivel a lot in this game. Because there is a lot of stuff that is going to try to kill you. But that... There's the big doo-doo somewhere. Else. This leads back into the opening area we were in. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up on reach. Alright. Yeah, now we're back in the opening area. So we just, you see a lot of that in Bloodborne games of take stock, take note of places that you stopped in before because, um, or, or gates and stuff because they will probably open up to lead you to a shortcut later. So. All right, this is the first staircase I was at. Oh, hey, you had an item. Oh, cool, you had some healing. Which I believe is- I have to push triangle in this for. Oh, do the other dudes- do they not come back? I thought they came back. Maybe they just stay at that fire once they hit it. Alright, and then there are actually more dudes up here, I believe. There's more- no, there's only the one? Alright. Anyway, so like with my friend Gilbert, you all saw uh, there was a red lantern hanging out Gilbert's door. A lot of the other doors we passed, there's been no indicator to talk. When there is a red lantern outside, that means you can talk to the people inside of the building. I'll have cocktails. I'll take it. I'll take it. Are you that outsider? Well, sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. Trot along, will ya? Hmm. Maybe he just needs... Are you that outside? No. Well, sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. Okay. Not along, will ya? Okay. Um... Also, okay, you do come back. You do come back around. Wait, wasn't there more of you? So this is why I didn't want to aggro this guy to come at me, because they tend to go very slow with their shield. Oh, there is the other one. Come on, dude. Come on. God, that's so fucking funny. I'm sorry. It's just always funny. It's always funny. Anyway, the reason I'm very well uh, acquainted with Yardum, as you might see, uh, is, is not because I've just played through the entire game many times, but I've not only played through this opening area a lot, but also you come back here because it's very good to farm for resources. It's like the best place to get blood vials, quicksilver bullets, and um, Molotov cocktails off people. Also, if you guys are wondering what we were hunting, it's beasts. Some of them look completely werewolf. Some of them will set you on fire if you're dumb and you're not paying attention. Let me check now. Oh, and there you go. And some of them look kind of like weird beast men things, you know? I believe that... That's a lot of flies for what doesn't look like any water in there. Wait, was there more walking? Did I just see more dude? Oh, there was one more guy walking. He's stumbling about. But yeah, that's what we gotta hunt. It's fine. I do believe the the thing with Yarnum is that on nights of the hunt, it's the idea of the good old fashioned, it's the full moon. Werewolves are appearing out of ordinary folk and we need to hunt them down to keep them out of the population sort of a vibe, you know? Okay, I know. Fuck you. You... 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 Oh, I didn't mean to waste that healing item. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Somewhere up here, you, like, take a step. And there's an asshole, like, right next to you. It's right here. This is it, officer. 
This is the man. This is the man, officer. Anyway, friends of Shrumsoft loves to do- Oh, 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 he's back. Hi, jerk. I need to finish you off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We cannot be friends. Do not pass go. <laughs> Alright, that was sure a way to go out. Yeah, Friendsoft loves doing stuff like this where you're like, Oh man, look at that nice item! Look at this cool shiny item! And then dude comes out from the corner to get you. And it's like, you feel safe, you feel good, you- Ay, fuck! I actually almost forgot about you. Partway through my brain was like, wait a second, why do we- something on the right? Anyway, and they'll also do that, where they love to, like, go like, okay, you just dealt with a scary thing. Clearly there's no more scary things, and then there is another, indeed, another scary thing. Okay. Lass, you come on. You'd open a door on a night of hunt. Mm-hmm. What are you with you Now! Come on. Be nice. Lass, you're, come on. Yeah. You'd open a door on a night of hunt. Oh, what are you with you Now! Yeah. Uh, so, Lyra, when do you want to join me in some- in some- playing some Bloodborne? Blood turned into orange juice. Oh, yeah, don't forget the man in the alley. So, here is a kind of fun thing with Bloodborne, is there's very much like a... Once you get good enough at the game, in theory, you can do it without much improvement to your level and stuff. Um, and because of that, you will get randomly much harder enemies in areas. This dude is one of them. He is much harder than any other enemy around here. Let's see if I can manage this. Let's see if I remember how to play well enough for this. Hi, friend. See, very not a friend. Okay. Oh, all right. See, you see how that's like the most damage I'm probably getting on that guy. He also has a very scary leap attack, if I remember. Yeah, that barely damages him, though. Oh yeah, the downside with the, uh, trick weapons... Ow! Got him, but at what fucking cost? Yeah! That's it! That's the leap that I was talking about! Can I get him? Are you dead? Okay. Ooh. That is a leap. Okay. Three blood vials off him. I think I literally used three, so it came out even on that one. Okay. Yeah? It's a scourge of blobby things. And I don't he's not even he's not even defending some treasure. Shake my head, shake my head. Yeah, so beating him is just like an early game. You're doing really good. Have I come to the right place? I don't think so, friend. Also, you get some of the uh, blood echoes if your note is rated highly, if, if, if it's given a good thing. So when you write like that there's gonna be an ambush and people can read the notes, and be like, uh, they, they, they predict the ambush thanks to that, and they go back and they uh, approve your note, you actually get a little bit of blood souls for it. So, alright. Ah. Uh. Lyra, why are you looking so scared, Lyra? You don't want to join me for some Bloodborne? So as you can see, you can actually continue this way, and oh hey! We saw the small beast man dude up on the cross, but now they got a biggin'. They got a big boy. Is there really nothing here? 
So actually, since we're here and we're doing this, and I think I've killed everything that's important right now, I can showcase the uh, notebook thing where you can use it. You can write a note. And so to help kind of prevent horrible things, they do templates, which people still find a way around. But um, so it's like you can write one word. You This is like the word that's going to go down. It's going to be fear. And then I can choose the word like whatever. So blank is effective is great for bosses because it can sometimes hint you in on like, hey, this this kind of weapon is good for this boss or this enemy. Um, treat blank with care is often used to like be nice to this NPC or like uh, it's all thanks to can tell you what weapon to use. So just all lots of different little things. Um... So I'm going to do beware of I so the one thing I do hate about this is the way this is broken up. It it kind of makes sense, but it barely makes sense to me. Um especially the difference between tactics A and tactics tactics B. And then they also the fact that it's not as you guys can see, it's not um it's not uh actually it will it's not actually um like done by alphabetical beware of concepts that's me treat doggo with care pure mana beer blank what a mood yeah see from soft gets it okay um let's see back to being afraid but yeah, that's just to warn people, hey, there will be an ambush right there. And hopefully somebody will see it and be like, oh. So I do believe going further on here will actually provoke attack. Yeah, you can see they are like real proud of themselves here. I need to kill you very quickly. I need to kill you very quickly. I need you very dead. I uh, yeah, cause okay. And also, I think I I got cut off midway of saying this, but one of the benefits to having the trick weapon. Um. So now it is two-handed, which is nice. It these are all the attacks when it is two-handed is stronger. Can like at base which is cool and oh it's on the other side which is cool and nice and nice and cool but um you lose the ability to use your gun or to use anything in your left hand actually uh um and that can cause its own problems like you cannot parry anymore once you have lost uh, that i don't know actually long-handed can i still do Pebbles? Yeah, that just goes away for whatever reason. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Alright, I have so I'm gonna get so many blood echoes. You're cursed. Yeah, I know I'm cursed, asshole. This city is cursed, my dude. But yeah, they all have little things to say, especially when they die. I'm pr I'm particularly fond of you plebeian rat. All right, there were some that, that went that way. Uh, please excuse me for being extra thorough because these dudes will, what happens is they go actually up and down. That was a noise. They go up and down the area and if you're not careful. Come on. Forward one, nice. And if you're not careful while you're dealing with all the other ones, they will get pissed off and come and get you. Anyway. I fucking love the axe. I fucking love the axe so fucking much, you guys. <laughs> yeah, Lyra! Hey, Lyra, but it'll be okay because you won't be alone. We'll be doing this. We'll, we'll be doing it together. Won't it be cool to, like, stream it from your side, from your point of view? Well, I know about most things going on. Wouldn't that be fun?
Want to be cool and fun and fun and cool? And it's not like a horror game, you know? It could be a really fun uh, Halloween series, don't you think? Okay, where is the true hell? I need the true... There's a true... There is something specific that I want to, um... Get access to here that I'm actually trying to... So anyway, somewhere around here, I should stop being coy, there's fucking dogs. Somewhere around here, there are fucking dogs waiting to come and get you. And I hate the goddamn dogs so fucking much in this game. I, I don't like any scary game with dogs, but I especially dislike this scary game with dogs. Come on, asshole. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Very good choice to go with the very long thing. Mm hmm. <laughs> Lyra, no, Lyra, Lyra, no, it'll be fine. I would know where to go, and you wouldn't, so you have that new player experience that people love to watch. Wouldn't that be a good time? Come on. There you are. Come on, come on, come here. Don't just drag your fucking creepy ass thing and then not show up. Come on, come on, more of you. Seriously? I'm right. I'm right here. Yeah, that's the, okay. So thank goodness somebody else, uh, somebody, the dude, showcase for me part of why oh i've run out of stamina i've run out of stamina and you guys can see how quickly an encounter here can go wrong you can now you guys can see why my, maybe i'm being a little extra insanely careful you guys can see how quickly uh encounters go wrong here um i knew there was a dude with a gun somewhere around here Oh wow, did that kill you? I didn't think that would kill you. Alright. Okay, come on, come on. There it is. No, 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 no. Do not turn the camera away. Where'd it go? Come on. I think, th I thought there was two of you. You need to be dead now. Oh boy. The hunter's dogs are fast, they're mean, their hits hurt once they pile up, and they can be incredibly hard to hit. So whenever the fucking dogs are around, I usually want them gone first. Is there not another gun? There it is. I feel like there's another dog, too. The dogs are often paired up with, um with uh, longer range dudes too. So you're trying to run around with the dog and dance around that as the dude's chipping away at your health. Quicksilver bullets. A lot of quicksilver bullets. <laughs> okay. No, thank you. 